If you've never heard of sepsis, you're not alone. According to the CDC, less than half of the U.S. population is aware of sepsis, even though it kills up to 500,000 Americans every year. That's more than breast cancer, prostate cancer, and AIDS combined. So what is sepsis, and how can you protect yourself from it? Sepsis starts with an infection. It could be bacterial, viral, or some other organism. We all know that when you get any type of infection, your body's immune system works to fight it. But when that infection enters the bloodstream, the body's normal response can go wrong. The immune system can start attacking the body's healthy organs, triggering a chain reaction that can quickly become life-threatening. This is what's known as sepsis. But by knowing these early symptoms of sepsis, you can get the treatment you need to survive. You can even use the word sepsis as your guide. Shivering, fever, or feeling very cold, extreme pain or discomfort, pale or discolored skin, sleepy, difficult to wake up or confused, a sense of, I feel the worst I've ever felt, and shortness of breath. Certain groups of people have a higher risk of sepsis than others. This includes people who have a weak or compromised immune system, young children or the elderly, those with a long-term illness like diabetes or kidney disease, people who have had transplant surgery, or anyone who's recently been to the hospital. With early diagnosis and treatment, sepsis can be stopped. So spread the word, literally. Tell your friends and family about sepsis so they can know the risks, see the symptoms, and possibly even save a life.